Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn a really cool whammy bar technique called the dive bomb. <laughs> Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. So in this video then we're going to learn one of the many cool whammy bar techniques. This one is going to be called the dive bomb. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates. So let's just get stuck right in. The dive bomb is kind of one of the most notorious whammy bar techniques that there is and it's actually fairly straightforward to do. It's one of the easier ones and it sounds really, really cool when you do it. So what we're just going to do then is simple, it's as simple as this. If you just hit an open A string, and then what I want you to do is just to take your whammy and just push it as close to the body as you can get it. And that's it. Just have a go at that first and that is just what we're doing. We're just pushing this whammy bar as close to the body as we can get. They sound really cool when you do them with harmonics. So let's play a harmonic on the 12th fret on the A string. And then push that whammy down. Okay, so you can do them fast like this. You can do them slow. Or you can kind of do them in between. And that's the harmonic on the 12th fret of the A string. They sound really cool when you get the higher harmonics. So let's hit the 5th fret on the G string harmonic, this one. And we're going to do a dive bomb on that note, so that's going to sound like this. <laughs> I love how that sounds. It's so kind of 80s, it sounds awesome. So let's do a fast one first. And a really slow one. So that is the technique behind it then. We're literally pushing the whammy bar towards the body. Now, in context in a solo, let me just play a little bit of a solo and show you how you can use it in a solo like this. So the lick I played then was simply this. Okay, a nice simple idea. In A minor, but what I did, I hit a pinched harmonic on the fifth fret on the G string and did a dive bomb on that note, so it sounded like this. And then let me resolve that then, this time I'll play the seventh on the D. And all of a sudden, a very simple idea is sounding really, really cool by putting a dive bomb in. So an exercise you can do then if you want to practice dive bombs rather than isolate them like this, take your A minor pentatonic scale. And what we're going to do is, all the higher notes, so the 8th fret on the E and the B, the 7th on the G, the D and the A, and the 8th fret on the low E, we're going to dive bomb. And the rest of them, we're just going to play the notes as normal, like this. <laughs> dive bomb in the top and play in the, all the 5th fret notes just as normal notes. Let me just do that a bit faster. So that, if you practice that exercise, that's going to get you ready to go with dive bombs and being able to get them into your soloing because they're kind of fun to do on their own just by you doing that kind of thing and really great fun. But when you get them in solos and licks, they can sound amazing. <laughs> Okay, they're great, great fun. So that is the dive bomb. If you haven't done it already, like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get in touch with myself, you can come and say hello at www.fretlix.com. There's a free workbook in the description below. I hope you enjoyed that lesson and I look forward to seeing you again soon.